everyone is talking about AI encoding right now. And for good reason. There's Cursor, V0, ChatGPT, Claude, and so much more tools. In just the past few months, new AI tools have emerged that can massively speed up your coding process. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use and combine these tools to boost your productivity while coding. Okay, but why do you not want to miss this AI hype train? Some time ago, a lot of programmers used Notepad++ for programming, and this was working, this was good. But then the IDEs came into place, and they have fancy stuff like debuggers and and code syntax highlighting and all the fancy stuff we know today and which is normal for us today. But there were people saying, no, I don't need the new IDE stuff. I just use Notepad and they were wrong. A lot of people nowadays use IDEs or code editors like VS Code, which are nearly like an IDE if you install a lot of extensions. And yeah, what I want to tell you with that is that this may be not just a hype, this may be not just the trend, this may be the future of programming and you shouldn't miss it. That's why I'm going to show you now in this video my three tools I use. You see the first here, this is Cursor and the second one is V0 by Versal and the third one is the simple old ChatGPT. Uh, but this is also, you can use Claude, this doesn't matter, but it's, it's like the retiree on the blog, but I will get to that. So what is Cursor AI? Cursor AI is basically VS, like for real, it, it, it is a fork of VS Code. It is uh, not an extension, it is a fork, so you need to download it here on the website. And this has the benefit that it feels very familiar. If we look into Cursor, it really looks like VS Code, 100%. Uh, one thing you might see or what you don't like is that this sidebar here is in Cursor AI uh, horizontal, and I don't like that, so I changed it to vertical. If you want to change that, you can go into the settings, search for something like vertical or uh, activity power orientation, is it called? And here you can say horizontal or vertical, and I changed it back to vertical because it was horizontal here. Uh, no, we don't do the restart here right now, so we let it like that. And yeah, if you want to change that, change it back, and now it's 100% looking like VS Code for real. Yes, but this is not simply VS Code, it's cursor. But what are the differences? You see already on the right side, you have a chat, but I can close this now and I will show you how to use that. And you basically have three features in Cursor, or I would say four features. The, I would say, biggest benefit of Cursor AI or the biggest advantage of Cursor AI is that it knows your code base. For example, I'm here in a project I'm building right now. It's called Vaki. It's a learning application. And um, yeah, it's a very big code base. I have components, I have this, it's a Next.js project, but uh, everything I'm going to show you is not Next.js specific, okay? So if you are Angular or Vue or Astro type of guy, no problem, you can stick to this video as well. So yeah, it knows your code base. So for example, how we can use this is if we type in command L or on Windows, it will be, I don't know, strong, is it called strong? S-T-R-G uh, and L. And then we get this chat window. And this chat window is basically ChatGPT or Claude or anything else. Um, here you can see the context, which is used right now. This is the settings.tsx. I can get rid of that, for example, and just type in something like, um, how is the learn mode working in my, pro whoops, in my project? And now I can type command and enter like you see here, to ask my whole code base. And I was searching for the files that looks really magically and 28 others. So it, and then, then it just gives me an answer how the learn mode is working in my application. So you have the power of your whole application inside of this chat window. And this is so helpful, like for real. You don't need to pass in all those 28 files into ChatGPT anymore because this is doing it automatically and this saves so much time. The next thing you can do with Cursor is predicting. The next thing Cursor can do is predicting your next changes. Let's say, for example, I, let's say I wanna add something here and with tab now, I can just, yeah, fill that in. So Cursor is predicting what you want to do, gives you a uh, suggestion or a blueprint, I would say, and then you can just type tab and it's filling it out. So it's predicting and you can do many stuff a lot faster with that. And the third thing is you can use cursor with natural language. For example, you can do command K and here you can say editing instructions. For example, change the title of the, or better said the name of the component to menu, for example. 
So now it's suggesting me what to do. It's working on that. And now I can type in command and enter to accept that and it's changed. But yeah, you see the magic. You can just use normal language, like just English, or I think it's also working with other language because this is under the hood, just using Claude or GPT, which can handle other languages. And then you can just, for example, use a block, the sheet block, type in command K. It's marking the whole block and you can put in some editing instructions in here. For example, add another cheat, add this, add this, or delete this, or delete this. I'm not a big fan of this because this makes you a little bit lazy because what I don't want is to not code anymore and just write English because that's, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it should matter that we have learned it, so we should use it. And if we just use English or just put in editing instructions, then our coding skills get worse and worse with the time and uh, we don't understand the whole project anymore and just let AI understand our project. But this is not where we want to go. We want to work together with AI and not just for the AI, you know? So yeah, I already teased it. The next thing is the composer, but this is still experimental. So um, it's not in the official release. And yeah, maybe if it's a stable release, I will make a whole video about that because this is a big thing. With composer, you basically can do everything just with instructions because composer can also create files and yeah, manage your whole tree, uh, your whole working tree and manage everything. And this nowadays is only possible for very simple projects because uh, it's using ChatGPT and Claude. And the big problem with that is that Claude and ChatGPT don't know the newest things of web development. For example, if you use Next.js and Next.js 14 with the app router, it doesn't know that. It would still use the pages router, which is not a nice approach for modern web applications. So yeah, if the composer gets a little bit better and uh, is going to be in a stable version, I will make a video about that. So yeah, subscribe to this channel to get notified uh, when this is dropping. So yeah, what problems can Cursor solve? Um, I would say Cursor is very good for simple things like mapping over a list or just making the easy things that you know and that is not related to hard logic or complex things, it can do it for you. But the more complex things that you need to understand, you shouldn't rely on it because the disadvantage of Cursor is that it's using Claude and ChatGPT or the own Cursor model. And this is trained on data, which is not very, very new. It's I think 2022 or 2021. And with Next.js or to all Next.js developers watching this, uh, this is not using the technology we should use nowadays because the news changes are not yeah, implemented into Cursor and this will lead to a lot of misunderstandings and yeah, old code, which you should not use today because maybe it has vulnerabil vulnerabilities and yeah, we don't, we don't want that. So let's get into the next thing. And the next thing, let's jump into the browser. It's not working. Okay, let's jump into the browser. It is V0. What can I help you ship today? V0 is so good. I like it more than Cursor. V0 is my favorite at the moment. I can use it for everything. V0 is by Versal and Versal is, uh, or, or Next.js is also by Versal. So this is the company that made Next.js. So it's working best for Next.js right now. But the goal of Versal is to make this work for every web developer out there. So Vue, Angular, Astro, SolidJS, Svelte, you know, all these frameworks out there. This should be the new web developer stuff. So what you can do here is just, it, it basically is, it's how you know it from ChatGPT and, and Claude, but, but I, I will show you that. So what I can do with that is I can say something like create a simple card or let's say a pricing card. And what it's going to do, it's thinking <laughs> at first, and now it's creating me the card. So you see the code on the right side. You can always copy the code. You can see it here. And then here you have this preview. And this is already a nice functionality yet that, that you don't have on Claude or Sonnet, uh, Claude or uh, ChatGPT, I mean. Uh, so you get a preview of the thing and you get a nice simple card with a nice button. And the cool thing is it's using ChatCN. It's using the buttons of ChatCN. And this is so, so great. So it's using ShedCN. It can use frame of motion. In the future, it can use 3JS. So you can make nice animations or nice, uh, yeah, 3D stuff with that. And the even greater thing is that it's up to date. So 
if I ask some questions about the app router, let's say, um, what is use server and use client or something like that. It, it doesn't matter right now, but it knows use server and use client. And this is so, so unbelievable helpful because yeah, when coding with ChatGPT or Claude, we had problems with that. And yeah, these problems are solved now with this V0. And V0 is free, uh, not unlimited free, but you can do, I think, 10 requests every day. And this is, I would say for the start, it's enough. You have the same model as a paid user and yeah, you really don't need the paid version to get started with it. So yeah, I would say this is the ultimate web dev weapon right now. I spend so many time with it because it's so smart and it can help so good with problems. And even if it makes problem itself, so if it faces any problem in doing the code, uh, you can just type in solve the problem with Rezero and it asks itself again and solve the problem for you. But be aware that this is still very new. So sometimes it's not working or doing strange things, but then you just reload and everything is fine. But just be aware it's still beta and very new. And sometimes some things might be strange, but just refresh the page and everything should work. And yeah, the last thing is actually ChatGPT. Very simple. ChatGPT is still great. It is for real. But if you use V0 and if you use yeah, Cursor AI, you won't rely on ChatGPT anymore. So I, for myself, yeah, I ended my subscription plan because I don't need it anymore. Just some simple things where you can still use ChatGPT and where it's going, doing a, a good job is, for example, if you need some data, for example, create dummy JSON data for my app, please. It's good in that. It knows JSON and it is really good in that. But at the moment where you rely on new web development stuff or new coding stuff or yeah, just those simple things, you can just use cursor or for the newer stuff, you can just use V0. You really don't need ChatGPT anymore because ChatGPT is inside of V0 and you can just use it inside of there. So I would say ChatGPT, yeah, nice and cool. Maybe if you have no luck with all the other options, try it here. Maybe it will work. But I would say this is not the future anymore. And this is more the retiree on the block right now. So yeah, when as long as, as this is generating, I will tell you uh, my tip for you. What is my tip for you? Uh, I would say build your own coding system. Know your tools. What are you going to use? Develop in Cursor AI. If you face any problems, stick to V0. And if you face any problems with both, stick to ChatGPT. That is my system for the moment, but build your own system. There are so many AI tools out there which are helping. Just build your own system. There's so many things you can use today and so many things which are helping you today. Use it. And yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe this channel. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.